thank you. We can't thank you enough, the owner of the world, the creator of all and every good thing. Our heart and our spirit bless you. All glory to you, ancient of days. All glory to you, king of glory. All glory to you, Lord of lords. All glory to you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. And Lord, we give you all adoration. The helper of all men needing no help. The God who is completing himself. You are God all by yourself. You are everything without us. But thank you for making us part of who you are. It's a privilege of life and we're grateful. This is the sixth month. Our works, our deed, and righteousness has not brought us this far. Your mercy has brought us. Thank you, Lord, for mercy. The outpouring of your mercy. The overwhelming presence of your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness towards us. Thank you. Thank you for your mighty hands. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness. <clears throat> we give you glory. We give you honor. And Lord, we give you all adoration. And the church say loud amen. amen. Once again, happy new month. Put your hands together for the Lord. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Take your seat. Uh, in a short while, we're going to rise up to pray for the month. <clears throat> and we're going to pray extensively. Praise the Lord. The Lord in the midst of us is mighty and mighty to save and mighty to deliver. Hallelujah. He is a good God. Praise the Lord. He is a good God. Please. And please set the clock right. He is a good God. Hallelujah. Ushers, you need to be sensitive. There are two spaces there. Somebody should feel it. He is a good God. I want you to have the understanding of this month before we pray for this month. Hallelujah. You are in the sixth month. Hallelujah. It's good to have Brother Vinisa back in church. You know, can you see how they are a little, they will start dressing like this now. So that will now look like uh, our father, Dr. Polinich. You know, see the way. They, I mean, stand up. Camera on them. Uh, we, just, we just be doing it once in a while. Amen. So that that day when we do it, when I finish ministry, I will give our mic to the professor. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. People. Please take your seat. Now, church, help me clap and clap. Somebody is in church. Amen. Now, it's, it's once in three months. Help me celebrate Wale Oyeyipo. <laughs> All the way from Kuge. <laughs> you know, he works also on Sunday. Yeah. And his head is full. Yeah. So, he's the morning bank. Morning bank. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. I know one. No, Abbey Wood knew. Abbey Wood. Praise God. Abbey Wood. Okay. Now. Jesus is Lord. So, we are finally in the sixth month. I can see space by the choir side. You, two of you, move that side. Move that side. Ushers, be sensitive, please. I need that. So, there are three spaces now. People can come and sit. Amen. Always feel everywhere. Well, feel everywhere. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Somebody is looking for space. So, ushers, people that are here now, move people down to that, towards that side. So that when people are coming, you will not be distracting me. Praise the Lord. So you are in the sixth month. I want to tell you why everything we answer for you this month. 
everything. Everything. Everything you've been waiting for. Everything you've been longing for. Let it just fall in place. This is the month it will fall in place. This is the month it will fall in place. This is the month it will work out. This is the month it will work out. You've been pursuing it. You've been running after it. You've been trying it. You've been waiting for them to approve it. You've been waiting for them to release it. This is the month they will release it. Can I hear your loud amen? Uh, A new contract will be awarded this month. A new door will be opened this month. Things will fall in place this month. Uh, There will be recommendation and recognition this month. In the name of Jesus, there will be recommendation and recognition this month. In the name of Jesus. In this month, all things will be possible. In this month, all things will be possible. In this month, all things will work in your favor. In Jesus' name. Praise God. So we are in the sixth month. Hallelujah. We are in the sixth month. Strange things, strange miracles, strange dimension of grace. Hallelujah. It's going to take place supernaturally. Unimaginably. Strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. Strange dimension of grace and virtue. All things working. There will be heavenly intervention. Heavenly intervention. Supernaturally. God himself will be getting involved this month. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Hallelujah. We came into this place, the city of wonder, in the month of June. We lay the foundation of this place of encounter, June 13th. Hallelujah. In the month of June, which is the sixth month, the Bible says, and the angel of the Lord appeared to Mary in the sixth month. In the sixth month, Mary was declared highly favored. He said, thou art highly favored among women in the sixth month. In the sixth month, Mary complained before the angel, it is impossible. And the angel said to Mary, it shall come to pass that thou shalt be overshadowed with power from on high. So there is power from on high. There, There must be an overshadowing. In the sixth month, the baby in Elizabeth leaped for great joy in recognition of the Messiah. In the sixth month, Mary conceived. You are in the sixth month. You are in the sixth month. Luke chapter 1 and verse 26. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin. The angel of the Lord was sent. So, in the sixth month, there's a strange dimension of angelic intervention. Is someone follow me right now? God will be positioning angels as men in the right place that will better your life and journey. Are you following me right now? Anyone that will not allow their approval go through, the angel of the Lord will unseat them. Are you following me right now? There was an incident that happened about 2003. I can't forget that. It was 2003. I was praying for this young man. You know, Every time he's in the office, money will miss. Then he was standard trust bank. Every time he was in the office, money will miss. He was in the bank. Every day, money miss. Every day. And so, we had an all night. We're praying and praying. Lord, show up. Lord, show up. Lord, show up. And the Lord opened my eyes. I saw three women sitting on the mortar. On the mortar. That's where all his destiny and glory were all there. And he 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, if you have not ordained this, we destroy this woman and cast them all out. Nothing was working. Nothing was speaking. It was, it, when I mean that, so, it was, this guy is six feet four. So he's very tall. Huge. He's handsome. But nothing showing glory. You understand me? Nothing showing glory. And they've been wearing that red tie since that is standard trust. <laughs> Amen? And he's lanky. Well fed. He was like the perfect description of Saul. But nothing was working. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent. I'm speaking in the name of Jesus. God will send your own angel. Oh. This month, God will send your own angel. Oh. It doesn't have to be an angel with two wings. There's just one helper of a lifetime. One, one helper. One helper. One helper. Just one. One. You don't need two. You don't need ten. You don't. Just one. One. One helper. You see his hand everywhere. You leave Abuja. You go to Kogi. You see his hand. You leave Kogi. You go to Togo. You see his hand. You leave Togo. You go to Dex Texas. You see his hand. One. One helper. One helper. One angel. One angel. One angel. One angel. One angel. I decree in the name of Jesus. I speak right now. Receive angelic intervention. Amen. So, there is something strange that you must be wrapped up in that makes angels, the Bible calls them angels as what? Ministering spirits. Ministering spirits. But as they have ministering spirits, there is something you must be wrapped in that makes them see God in you. And then literally freely submit with ease. And that's what God is bringing you in this month. There must be something they were not sent to just anybody and everybody. When they were sent, when they were giving account concerning him, who is man that you are mindful of him? There is so much of his grace. You have crowned him with glory and honor. You have put him in control of all things. The work of your hands. You have made him to have dominion over everything. Something strange about man. I don't know what slow you down. But in the month of June, you will disappoint your enemies. <laughs> so with this month, it will work out. Come and say loud. Say loud. Say it loud. Say, I know it. Come and say, I know it. Say, I know it. Say, most assuredly, it will work out. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the sixth month, the Bible says, and he said to our in verse 28 of Luke chapter 1, Having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice. I leave favored war. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. <laughs> there is somebody here. Among your, fav your mates, God will single you out. Amen. Among your father's children, God will single you out. Amen. God Ask me to tell you, rejoice. <laughs> come on, come on, rejoice. <laughs> rejoice. <clears throat> Add dance to it, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. Come on, rejoice. Rejoice. <clears throat> In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Take your seat, please. As I bring us the declaration for the month of June. 
your month, my month. Romans chapter 8, and I'll read from verse 11. <clears throat> but I told you about it that if the angels will submit, if everything will work, if everything must answer, there is something you must carry. And God has deemed fit to release it, to pour it in the fullness of it. Every man you see anything working in their hands has something behind it. If anything is working with any man, there is something behind it. And it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. In the name of Jesus, it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Elijah, God asked me to tell you, or speaking to me at the early hour of this morning, he said he will take you very far. Yeah. And that your sacrifices has come to him as a sweet smelling sour. He said he will take you very far. Yeah. I celebrate that height of greatness. <clears throat> Romans 8 and verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell inside of you. Tosin wants to be great. Tosin wants to be mighty. Victor wants to be the best. But we have found ourselves in a wicked world among wicked men on daily basis. Wickedness is real, God's servant said. He said, but more real is our victory in Christ Jesus. So, the consciousness of what we have in Christ is what puts us ahead. Oh, it is impossible for Jesus to fail. I cannot fail. It is impossible for Jesus to be dragged down. I cannot be dragged down. It is impossible for Jesus to be delayed. I cannot be delayed. It is impossible for Christ to be denied. But if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells inside. Bring the stage down a bit. If it dwells inside, inside of Adeto, if it can find expression in Oyeyibo's life, the same spirit at the same height. But Jesus labored so much to get to the height he is. Does that mean we have to labor the same? No. Now, and it pleased the Lord in his understanding to collapse time. Jesus said, in John chapter 17, in verse 17, he said, Father, sanctify them. So what quickly brought Christ to that level was the sanctification of the word of God. You see, and uh, so he wants us to quickly bring us to the same height, to the same grace, so that we can be recipient of same power. And so he said, sanctify. It was his own prayer, not our works. His own labor. He paid the price for us to become him. He said, sanctify them, Lord, by your word. And that word is true. And you know what he said? He said, as the Father has sent me, he sent me to operate in a spirit that makes me the resurrection and the life. As the Father has sent me, the resurrection and life so sent I you. As the Father sent me, as the light, I am sending you. In other words, it is only what you have you can give. And Jesus, as this height, this grace, this power. I have never sat down with the choir 
to discuss with them on any service. Oh, this is the song you should sing. This is in line with what you should sing. But you can agree with me that the message I'm preaching is in line with the administration. It talks about submission to the Spirit and align the flow of grace. Celebrate the King's voice. <clears throat> Amen. So, same power with Christ. Same grace. He gave it. We didn't have to labor. We didn't have to do 77 nights, 77 prophets, 77 mountains to come to the height which he is. All you need to do is by faith you walked into it. And there is a seal from God. That's why Jesus said, I and the Father are one. There is one thing that makes Christ and God one. And that's what God is giving to you this month. Just follow me carefully. That's what God is giving you this month. That's what we find expression in your life. That's what we speak mightily in your life. To the glory and honor of Jesus. Someone say, my month is now. My time has come. Come and say it louder. My time has come. 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 In Jesus' name. If the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwell, he that raised him up. That is what quickens Christ. What gives life. There is something Christ is carrying that makes him the Christ. There is an overwhelming presence of God. That works beyond work. It delivers beyond ability. And that's what God is bringing your way. He said the same also will quicken your mortal body. Revive your business by the same spirit that what? That dwells in you. Verse 12. He said, dear, bo- dear for brothers, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if we live after the flesh, you shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. That is, see everything giving life in Christ as your own. See everything in Christ giving life as your own. See everything in Christ giving life as your own. Don't nurse infirmity. Don't nurse evil medical verdict. Don't nurse evil occurrence. Don't nurse any negative thing your heart is telling you. Are you following me right now? Take life From what gives life to Christ. Don't draw life from your heartbeat. Take life from what gives life to Christ. There are people that still live when their heart fails. Oh, doctor said the heart fails. All hope is gone. And suddenly, boom, they are back. You must take Life from what gives life to Christ. To be a head of principalities and powers. You must take life. It's not confession. It's not saying it. That you say you have money does not make you have money. Until you spend money. Is somebody following me right now? It's not saying it. So you must take life out of what gives life to Christ. Take life, take life, take life, take life. I beseech you wherever you are. There is nothing wrong with you. All you need to do is just take life from what gives life to Christ. Take life to be above the life of death. 
take life to be above the life of sickness and infirmity. Take life to be above poverty and penury. Take life for dominion. Take life for victory. Take life for sound health. Take life for lifting. It was not a statement when I said it. I can never be out of church on earth. No, it was a depth of revelation. In him dwells the fullness of God earth bodily. I saw it from the blueprint of the scripture. He said, I've been circumcised with circumcisions that were not made with hands. I am complete in Christ who is the head of all principalities of power. He resides here. He can't sit here and kidney fails. He, he can't be here and there is problem with liver. No, a thousand shall fall by my right. Ten thousand shall have it. Ten thousand on the other side. It shall by no means It shall by no means, no means, no means. It shall by no means hurt me. It shall by no means take life, Josiah, from what gives life to Christ. Take life, Ugo, from what gives life to Christ. Oh, I know by my strength with everything. Doctors say I can't conceive. But there is conception in Christ. Therefore, I take it. The Bible says, willingly, without being forced. Jesus stepped in into the affair of your life. Being, you know what they did? The Bible says, he himself took our infirmity. Ah! It is his longing desire to take away your body. His ever longing desire. To take away your pain is ever longing desire. To take away your pain. He himself took it. Nailed it to the cross. Ooh. And cause is not man. But cause is he who is hung on a tree. Which means no man that found Christ is under a cause. Jesus became the cause. That he will make an open show. Of the enemy triumphing gloriously because something took place. There was a baptism of something, it was the aura of his presence. A strange dimension of it. When it accompanies you, everything begins to work. Guess what? Your time is now. Yeah. You didn't shout it loud, amen. Yeah. If you are sure, make it louder. Come and tap the person who is next to you to your right. Say, my time is now. Time is now. To the left and to the right. Tell them, my time is now. Time is now. Verse 14. For as many, so not as one who is led. Not as one who follows. So what he says to one, he's saying to all. His intention, God is not unpicking who should prosper. It's an open check. And it is open before you and I. He wants you and I to succeed. For as many that are led, not by their dictates, their feelings, their emotions, but led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. They are not led by the economic situation. They are not led by the state of the economy or commerce of the nation. They are led by the Spirit. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage caged down. You have not received the spirit of bondage, the spirit of caged down. You have not received the spirit of no sales. You have not received the spirit of no money. You have not received. You have, someone said, "I have not received it." I received say, I have not, "Say it's not in me." It's say it's not in me. It's you have not received the spirit of bad news. Say I have not received it. Say bad news is not in me. It cannot survive around me. Say weak energy cannot survive around me. Wrong energy cannot survive around me. I have not received it. <laughs> 
come and celebrate Jesus. Says, but ye have received the spirit of adoption. There is a spirit that gets everything. You want this? God say, adopt it. To adopt means to take possession of. Are you following me right now? You want to adopt a spirit, you take possession of that spirit. You want to adopt a child, you take possession. To take custody of. Adopt grace. It mean, you know, when you take adoption of something, it means you didn't have it. You adopt what you don't have. Is somebody following me right now? Oh, I didn't have money. So adopt it. Adopt it from the same spirit in Christ Jesus. So me, my present state as the Lord of heaven liveth is the least of my states. I'm moving higher. Ah, stand up and tell somebody, hey, t -ring, k -k. you will interpret it in English, but don't worry. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, you will, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will tell you the interpretation in English. Stand up and tell two people. When you are saying it, say it with alcohol. Hey, t -ring, k -k. <laughs> now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, let me tell you the meaning that you will not say it back to three people. You ain't seen nothing. Hey, T ring kaka. Now, now you will say it like the Ibadan. Say it again. Hey, T ring kaka. Hey, T ring kaka. Now say it like this. You ain't seen nothing yet. Now take your seat and celebrate Jesus. Now listen. It's where you're seated right now. Where you're seated. It's all over me. It's moving me around. Just clapping. It's moving me around. It's moving me around. It's all over me. It's moving me around. The Holy Ghost power is moving me around. Hallelujah. It's all over me. It's moving me around. Ah, it's moving me around. It's moving me. It's all over. It's all over me. It's moving me around. Ah, the Holy Ghost power is moving me around. Oh, oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your Baba. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord. It says when you adopt it, you just say, Whereby we cry, Abba Father. I say, To get anything, you just look at it. I want this, Abba Father. <laughs> you want this thing to work? He say, Just say, I want a better life now, Abba Father. There is one thing I know wherever I go. Jesus Lord never fails me. Asian world ever to <laughs> changing me and 
changing you. Ah, you have come. We only have a lost soul at the ancient world in power. He said, let it impact. Let it find the expression. That in June, when I want it, I say, I want this, Abba Father, let me have it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And verse 16 says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with Ebenezer that we are what? In other words, the question is, Father, I want doors open now. And the enemy shows up. Doors cannot show. Why do you think it should show up? But say, and the Spirit bear witness. This is the Son of the house. You don't deny the Son access to anything. I wanted to stop my kids from watching tabs because if I come home, they open the back for us without, without even asking. And they say, it's my tab. I said, no, it's not yours. It's mine. He said, no, mine. So for me to do it, immediately I enter, I'll quickly carry everything out and hide it in the wardrobe. So when they check the bag, it's not there, they give up. Amen. Amen. So you are a son and nobody, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know and I don't want you to bother yourself with what was wrong when you were not there. What was wrong that you are not aware of? He said, for a costless cause shall not, shall not stand. It shall not stand. You are the one giving life to what has no life. You are the one giving life. No, if, if it before your father does not mean to be before you. If it before your mother, they say it's hereditary. Who told you? He said, a costless cause. That is a cause you don't know about how it took place, how it started. He said, don't bother yourself with it. Don't. You are in the sixth mount. As you see it, you have it. And he children, he said, then ye are heirs, verse 17, heirs of God, and what joint heirs with Christ. Is somebody saying the process? How you, I'm showing you the process how you came to a same height with Christ. And what makes Christ the Christ? He's called Jesus. He wasn't named Christ. The word Christ means Savior of all. So, how Jesus, and he was not the only one named Jesus in the whole of that city. But how his own Jesus became Christ, there was something he was baptized with. Uh, <laughs> there is an undeniable presence that you wear that even your enemy is running elder scatter to help you. Isaiah 55 was speaking from verse 5. He said, nation that know thee not, we run heater to do you good. Someone say me it's time. Say me it's time. Say me it's time. You know, we are in the year of the God chases, the year of commanding victory. He said, and the victory is by force. And it's a must. That all things will work. That all things will speak. That all things will find expression. Oh, no. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. No, 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 no. Your time is now. No. Not anymore. No more suffering. No more pain. No more pain. No more pain. Your time is now. Now listen. I know my God will do it for me. I have seen my God do it before. <laughs> there are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen 
my God do it for me. Ah, no, my God, we turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. <laughs> There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen. Now look at this. And if ye are else, if so be that ye, that we suffer with him, it also that we may glorify together. That we may glorify together. Verse 18. For I reckon I come into a conclusion that the suffering of this present time God told us there is a strange change in the sixth month. How many of you remember? And we are ready for it. We, he, he gave us strength and we've been coming with all of it. We conquered January. February looks so thick, fiery. We conquered it. March was a strange month that looks like it was going to swallow us up, but we conquered. Even May was disgrace. And guess what? We're in the sixth month. We're in the sixth month. Tell them I'm in the sixth month. Tell them, come on, tell someone I'm in the sixth month. Come on, tell them I'm in the sixth month. I'm in the sixth month. All things working, all things speaking well. I'm in the sixth month. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy. They are not worthy. They are not worthy. That's why I told you I need to show you what is to come. Because as you pray, you are praying with understanding. That the challenges you have, because when you are praying, the devil will tell you, remember all the pains, all the problems. You don't have nothing to remember. He said, they are not worth decrease. A new leaf is open. A new chapter of grace is open. There is new opening. New opening. The lines falling in place. Everything yielding result. Everything speaking with a new opening. What you have suffered with cannot be compared with the glory that what? That shall be revealed in us. What you have suffered, what you have had to wait for, what has been happening, what you knock and knock and knock and knock and knock and refuse to come, it cannot be compared with what is coming. In the, on the heart, it can't be stopped. Beneath the heart, it can't be stopped. From the heavens, it can't be stopped. What you have suffered, what you have endured, listen wherever you are across the nation of the heart, what you have suffered cannot be compared to the glory that is coming now, 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 now. The pain you have suffered cannot be compared with the joy that is coming now. The blessing that is coming now. The wealth that is coming now. No, that pain cannot. Stand on your feet. Four. Ebenezer, Victor, Ungosi, Joy, Rose, Roots, for the earnest expectation of the Creator. I wait, wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. But there is something the sons of God must carry. There is something that must be made manifest. So that their waiting will not be in emptiness. So they can become like Christ. Somebody say, my month is finally here. Month is finally here. The month I will never forget. The month that will change my story. I want you to open your mouth and say, Father, 
let the declaration of June find expression on my life. Open your mouth and pray now. In the next few minutes, I'm going to be declaring it. Come and pray. Let June declaration find expression in my life. Let June declaration Lord, let the declaration of June find expression in my life. Let the declaration of June find expression in my life. Let the declaration of June find expression in my life. Lord, let the declaration of June in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Say, my Father, whatever June is to be called, let it find expression in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, whatever June is to be called, let it find expression in my life. Lord Jesus, whatever June is to be called, let it find expression in my life. Lord Jesus, let it speak on my life, on my children, in my home, and in my family. Whatever June is to be called, let it in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. So be Father, the suffering of the past month cannot be compared and is not worthy to be compared with the glory that's about to be revealed. Let June answer in my favor. Open your mouth and pray. Lord Jesus, let June answer in my favor. Let June answer in my favor. Holy Ghost, let June answer in my favor. King of glory, let June answer in my favor. Lord Jesus, let June answer in my favor. Ancient of days, let June answer in my favor. Help me, Lord, help me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Father, help me enjoy the sixth month. And let me enjoy the proceed forever. Open your mouth and pray. Help me, Lord, to enjoy the sixth month. Help me, Lord, to enjoy the proceed forever. Lord, help me. Holy Ghost, help me. Ancient of days, help me. King of glory, help me. Lord of Lord, help me. Help me, Lord, to enjoy the system, the proceed forever. Let me enjoy the proceed forever. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. When the declaration of the month is declared, we are going to sing creator of the universe. <clears throat> and once you begin to sing that, begin to see the declaration finding expression in you. Now, as I bring you the declaration of June 2024, Romans 8, 16 to 18. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, not bastard. And if we are the children, we are his heirs. Heirs of God to have access to any and everything. Joint heirs with Christ. And if so be that we suffer with him, endure with him, dwell in with him, that we may also glorify together. For I reckon that the suffering of what I've been through are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. June 2024 is declared my month 
of my revealed glory. My revealed glory. Someone say, my revealed glory. Say, June. June. My revealed glory. Say, June. My revealed glory. Did you say that? June. My revealed glory. Say, June. My revealed glory. Because the Spirit, say it, say because the Spirit, bear witness with my Spirit. June is my revealed glory. Because the Spirit, bear witness. June is my revealed glory. Authority will see my glory. Management will see my glory. What leaders will see my glory. June. I revealed glory. I walk like Christ. Achieve like Christ. Move forward like Christ. Enjoy like Christ. I receive grace like Christ. The Spirit bear witness with my spirit that I am the Son of God. And as the Son of God, June, my revealed glory. Creator of the universe. Say it on the first. Come on. What can't you do? What can't you do? What can't you do? Jesus. So let it name above every other name. Above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change? What can't you change? What can't you change? Jesus. Somebody you understand the spirit bear witness with my spirit that June my glory is revealed the enemy can deny it listen 
immediately help me with Romans 8 16 the message translation to 18 you will understand the Bible said it was revealed to us confirmed on us it was revealed to us look at it, it says God's spirit touches our spirit and confirm who we really are we know who he is and we know who we are father and children Old, old 17. It says, it says, because we're reading the message and the AMPC, you understand what I'm saying? 17. It says, and we know we are going to get what is coming to us. You get it. You will get it, sir. You will get it, sir. Oh my God. You will get, come on, tap your neighbor and say, don't limit a limitless God. You know, my friend said, somebody called him and said, why does that your friend like to dare be big thing? He said, because he has never seen something small. He said, can't he just, just do something since and do this? He said, because he has. He said, the problem with everything, he has never seen something small. He has never seen something small. I said, thank you. Thank you for knowing that. Amen. You don't understand. Can you just imagine when, what we'll be building post IWC? Post. Our project is going to be starting from 5, 10 billion. 20 billion, 50 billion. 50 billion. We'll be talking about business. What, by the time we put money aside for businessmen in church, we talk about 20 billion dollars. The, the end time church. Is the prospering church? Yes, sir. The church is not the building. No. The prospering is the people. They will line up like this with integrity. Yes. Men of integrity come with their visions and proposals. What are you, what do you need? There are some that is their person. Their personality is their collateral. We are raising men of integrity. Hello, sir. Church has not arrived. The church will arrive when they open the votes. Mm. Open the votes yes, and sir. empower the people. That's when church has arrived. That's when the true power will come to us in this nation. Are you following me right now? It's not, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. Jesus Christ says, since thou be with me, lackest thou anything. He opened the... They weren't even searching the vote. They were not... You don't understand me? He opened... God told me the future glory of the sons of God. Open it. Just wait, it's a little while. <laughs> Stay on the scripture, please. My heart is just filled with this overwhelming joy because your month is here. <laughs> this this month, this month, this month, this month, a rabbi tells me. You, 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 you will share. Did, did you see when Mama Beji was sharing tears of joy? The husband said, That's not it. That, carry that whole part. That part. That part. She wants to use it to bless the Lord. It says, What is coming to us? An unbelievable inheritance. Un is happening. And you'll be telling God, You are inside your room. Even me, I'm no believer. Even me, a no believer, an unbeliever. Please help me tell the AT ring kaka. Say, 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 tell me, tell me. Say, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell three people. Do you really want to talk about me? AT ring kaka. Amen. Now hold on, hold on. Just in case somebody comes to gossip somebody to you, first respond to the person. Oh, dear. Come on now. Lift up your prize to the mountain. Hey. Hallelujah. Hold it, hold it, we are going to it.
I want this revelation to sink. The, the, listen. Listen. I stand. This is the altar of God. I have never come to make any declaration by thoughts. Not me. Not me. I'm not moved by material things, by anything, by anybody's face. Not, nothing. 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 I do it as commanded. As instructed. I wait deepestly for him to speak to me, to my heart. I'm not coming here to tell you this month now is success because last month was favor. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not called for it. There is, Paul says, ah, preachings. It's not for the enticement of men. It's in demonstration of power to them that have it. It's not in the scripture, so everybody, you get it. It says, on, please stay on the scripture media, don't sleep. An unbelievable inheritance. We go through exactly what Christ goes through. Exactly. The same lifting. If we go through the hard time with him, then so we stop someone say the hard time of Christ has ended. <laughs> say the hard time of Christ has ended. He said, then we are certainly going to go through the good times with him. Verse 18. Verse 18. That is why I don't think there is any comparison between the present hard time and the good new time. Now give me the AMPC. The AMPC from verse 16. It's from verse 16 so that everybody can understand. The spirit himself does testify. And the Bible says we overcome by what? Testimony. He's te hold on, hold on. He's testifying that Christopher must succeed. He's testifying that Amos must break through. He said together with our spirit assuring Friday ago that we are the children of God. I want more long, long sorrow, man. Come on, say, the children of God are talking, man. It's God's children we're talking about here, yeah, man. The children of God are talking, man. Yo, 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 man. Verse 17. 17, please. And if we are his children, then we I is heirs also, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, sharing his inheritance with him. Only we must share his suffering if we also share in his what? Glory. Verse 18. But what of that? For I consider that the suffering of this present time this present life and not what being compared with the glory that is about to be revealed in us and in us and for us and conferred on us. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's read this place three times. But what of that? What I consider the suffering of this present time, this present life and not what being compared with the glory that is about to be revealed to us and in us and for us and conferred on us. For the last time, let's read it. But, for I consider that the suffering of this present time, this present life, are not worthy being compared with the glory that is about to be revealed to us and in us and for us and conferred on us. What is the declaration of your month? My revealed glory. This glory, stay on that scripture, look at it. This glory has been revealed on me, in me, for me, and confirmed in me. Now say, it. this glory has been revealed on me, in me, for me, and 
conferred on me. Say this world and glory was revealed on me and for me and conferred on me sound health and glory was revealed on me oh my god for me and conferred on me come on creator of the universe hey what can't you do what can't you do 